John 16, verse 7, says, It is to your advantage that I go away, Jesus says. If I don't go away, the Holy Spirit, the Helper, will not come. If I leave, I will send him, and he will give you an advantage. Uh, what does the word advantage really mean? I, you know, just simply, an advantage is something that puts you in a better position than other people. And I don't mean that in a competitive way or, you know, I'm better than you, but an advantage kind of gives you an edge above someone who doesn't know how or have access to that. Well, when it comes to the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit advantage, what it means is the Holy Spirit working in your everyday life to produce supernatural results. Simple, but really radical if you get it. Again, what is the Holy Spirit advantage? It is the Holy Spirit working in just your everyday life. As you get up and as you go to bed, everything in between, in every part of your life, the Holy Spirit advantage is learning how the Holy Spirit will work in and through your everyday life to produce supernatural results. Repent of anything in your life that could grieve the Holy Spirit. Don't grieve the Holy Spirit. Because when we allow things to get into our life to grieve the Holy Spirit, we're giving place to the devil. And we wonder why we feel oppressed and overcome and sick and weak and discouraged and oppressed. It's because we've given place to the devil. Do not give place to the devil. If the devil has a place, it's because we gave it to him. Do not give place to the devil. Instead, give place to the Holy Spirit is what it's saying. So what do we have to do? We have to guard how we talk, unwholesome words. we got to make sure we're just not doing whatever we want to do and think it's okay with God. So clean up our lives, how we live. Our words, our lifestyle, and our relationship with people is all dealt with in that passage. Our words, our lifestyle, and how we relate to people. And we, it's, I'm telling you, I've been, I, I, just, I just think I can say this with authority. I've done this long enough to know those three things can make your life miserable. You get them under control, and you're the happiest person on the planet. It's not our circumstances that ultimately make us happy. It's the presence of God, the work of the Holy Spirit, the joy of the Holy Spirit working in our life. That is the happy pill. Acts 4, 31, I love it. When they had prayed, this group of people in agreement, when they had prayed, everybody there was filled with the Holy Spirit. My heart's desire in this series, this week and the next few weeks, is that everybody in Carmel Church and our family would have a fresh, life-giving experience receiving more. Our bodies like a container want to be, life comes and the heat and the burning, scorching heat, the, the water level of our spirit just gets depleted. Stay filled. Stay filled. Just, God, would you fill me? I'm sorry. I've gotten depleted. I've gotten negative and critical. I've said I've done this. I repent. I don't want to grieve you. Would you fill me? I don't want to grieve you. Would you fill me? It's a constant motion in my life every day. Is there anything, Lord, hey, forgive me? Is there something I need to deal with? Tell me. I want to deal with it. I don't want a day without you. I'm sorry I said that to Tammy. I'll ask her to forgive me. I'm sorry I had that n wicked thought. Would you forgive me? I'm sorry I didn't give this. When you're, I mean, what, you, whatever. Is there anything? Show me. And I'll say yes. I'm saying yes before you show me. Somebody, somebody say that loud. Say, I'm saying yes before you show me.